morning. I thought I'd take you along with me. Um, I'm maybe do a little vlogging instead of just sit down videos for a little bit and just kind of take you along with me on my days and um, just let you guys hang out with me and just kind of see how life is on our little homestead and just kind of things that I do and um, enjoy and just kind of our everyday life. Um, so yeah, in the mornings I like to sit out here, um, especially mornings like this where it's really still and cool out and um, I can just kind of sit out here in my pajamas and relax a little bit before I kind of get busy. Um, and so, yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little taste of this morning. breakfast I have every morning. My gastroparesis friendly breakfast. Um, I still with, I still do most early. I'm so a little tired still, but I still deal with gastroparesis. And so this yogurt um, with a little bit of granola on it is something that my stomach tolerates every day. And it's um, something I keep eating. So there you have it. Babies. Good morning. <laughs> so I kind of just wanted to talk about um, what my vlogs are kind of going to be about and they're nothing spectacular. It's basically just um, me taking you along in parts of my life and um, whenever I get the um, uh, energy and things like that to do so. Um, 
and it's just kind of a diary of my life. It's something that, you know, will be around for the future generations, I guess, to take a look at and just kind of see what life uh, was like for me and um, uh, like my grandkids and things like that or whatever. And um, so nothing really <laughs> that special, but, um, but I just thought I'd take you guys along and just maybe, you know, if you're a people watcher like I am, I like watching um, vlogs on YouTube and things like that of just, it could be the most boring thing ever, but um, I still just like looking at, you know, how other people, you know, live, I guess. And so if you're interested in that, that's kind of what these are going to be about. Um, so yeah, they'll be probably like just be cooking and um, just taking you along for things, just, just showing you my life. That's basically it. So. Uh, and uh, something else I got today, um, I got a phone call from the doctor. I went and had some x-rays done yesterday for um, a chest x-ray. I have a, my my chest is wired together. I've had um, some surgery there. And um, so it was, that was like 14 years ago and it's been wired ever since. But one of my wires is broken. And so I had this, been having pain in my chest. And I just want to make sure that the wire wasn't bent or anything like that and it's still just fractured it's not bent so the pain that I'm experiencing is usually it's either arthritis or the scar tissue um, so I'm okay with that because I really did not want to have to have them go in and take out wires that are already really um, you know embedded or whatever you want to call it with scar tissue and stuff like that because that would be very painful so that was some good news and I go in Thursday for my bone marrow biopsy and I will keep you guys updated on that. So for lunch today, I'm, again, really basic um, because of my gastroparesis. Um, and what works for me is just simple food, um, and that would be rice. So I eat that. And then I just add in some shredded chicken. And then I usually put on uh, like some kind of a dressing. And this is actually one of my favorite dressings. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's a... Um, herb de Provence um, kind of thing and it's really yummy on it so I just mix this all up and heat it up and eat it and that's that's my basically my lunch today so I we got to get Miss Daisy May's lunch ready now Miss Daisy May she eats a raw diet and this is a raw um, like 
freeze dried and it just gets rehydrated um, and it's like goat meat and some cranberries and um, kale and um, I think like um, coconut. Um, as you can tell she's madly in love with this food and she is ready to eat it. Okay. Okay. You gonna sit down? Good girl. Tell me. Okay. Good girl. There you go. <laughs> she is absolutely in love with that food. It's I think Sojo brand or Soho, however you say it, but and I get it from Chewy.com, not sponsored. <laughs> so if you're new to this YouTube channel, um, you can look at some past videos of mine. Um, but uh, if you didn't know, I do suffer from chronic illness. And um, one of my most recent diagnoses is gastroparesis. And that's the thing that gives me probably the most trouble out of um, my illnesses aside from my pain that I have, but um, it's proven to be a bit difficult. Um, I had a feeding tube, but I had to have it removed um, because my body was rejecting it and it wouldn't heal and it was extremely excruciatingly painful. Um, and so I struggle to eat now and get enough nutrients and fluids and things like that, but I do the best I can. Um, but there are a lot of days that I just I do not feel well, um, but I push through and I do what I can around this house and our homestead because I, that is what I love. Um, I love my life. I love our simple life. I love all of that. And so, um, I do what I can and days like today, it's only the afternoon and I'm pretty much done. Um, I didn't do a ton today. Um, you know, um, but I don't feel very well today, um, so I'll be ending the vlog here, but I just wanted to chat with you a little bit and kind of let you know um, I'm new to vlogging. I don't really have a clue what I'm doing, um, but it gives me something else to think about um, during the daytime. Um, I'm a stay-at-home wife, and so I'm home alone, um, you know, and it's it's just me and God here and Miss Daisy May, but um, so it kind of just gives me something else to kind of do um, on the days that I, I feel pretty well to do it. Um, and so I just kind of, that's, that's kind of what this is about. And, you know, um, who knows how long YouTube will be around. And if uh, my grandkids someday, you never know, come across these videos and get to see kind of, you know, a little history, I guess, maybe as boring as it is. Um, but... Uh, we definitely don't live up, I don't, uh, we're not highfalutin, and so those kids will see um, a pretty much, you know, normal, basic, simple life um, filled with God and um, nature and things like that. So, um, but yeah, so I just kind of wanted to say thanks for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed, you can. If you hit the notification bell, you'll get notified um, whenever I do upload a vlog, um, or any other video for that matter. And, um, I thank you for coming along and I do appreciate the people, um, that have been praying for me. Um, I really do appreciate that. I go in Thursday, like I said, for this bone marrow biopsy and I'm really hoping, um, it gives us some answers. Um, and as to why my blood is the way it is. And, and, and if it doesn't show anything, then that's also an answer. Um, because it rules out some things and then, you know, it's just going to be something I guess I have to live with, um, with my blood like that, I guess. Um, but we won't know until Thursday. Well, obviously after Thursday, but the procedure is then. Um, but I'm not feeling very great today. Uh, so I'm going to end the vlog here, but, um, I, again, thanks for coming along and, um, I hope to see you next time.